Okay, these are our color wheel worksheets. So it'll give us a finished color wheel that we can use as a reference later on. First thing you should know is that your primary colors go at the points of the right side up triangle. So that means my red, my yellow, and my blue will go on these points. These are the painterly um, primary colors. Um, but since those are the primary colors, if you wanna go ahead and paint in those, they're gonna be the only ones that you use directly out of your containers. So you can paint those ones in. Now the secondary colors go between the two primary colors that made them. So red plus yellow is going to give us orange and it's going to go on the points of the upside down triangle. And then between the yellow and the blue directly in the middle is gonna go the green. And then between the red and the blue directly between those is going to go the violet. The tertiary colors are mixed when you mix the primary color with its nearest secondary color. So if you add red and orange together, you're going to get a new color, a new hue called red-orange. And then when you mix orange and yellow together, you're going to get a new hue called yellow-orange. The primary color name always goes first. You're gonna mix yellow with its nearest secondary, which is green, and you'll get yellow-green. And then blue with its nearest secondary, green, you'll get blue-green. And then violet with blue will give us blue-violet. And then red plus violet will give you red violet. I think it's easiest to fill in the color names first before you start painting. Um, I like to work a whole section at a time. So I like to work from red to yellow and get all of those in between there before I go into the next sections. So since I'm going to do it that way, in my paint tray so that I don't mess up my cups of color because I'll use those for another project. I'm going to scoop out um, a little bit of yellow into my container. It's not a big section that we're painting so I won't need a, whoops. I won't need a whole lot of yellow. Then um, I will do some red in another section. I'm gonna wash and dry my brush really well before I get out a new color. And then I'll put red in this section here. The blue seems to be the strongest and the yellow is the weakest. The red is somewhere in between. So red is a stronger color than um, yellow is. So if I work from yellow orange to red orange, I'm going to have uh, a better, better results. So I'm, instead of trying to mix orange first, I could do it that way and then add more red to it to get red orange and then add more yellow to it to get yellow orange. I really do like to work from, to make my yellow orange, add a little bit more red and then make my orange and then add a little bit more red and make my red orange. So that's the way I will do it this time. So I'm gonna take a tiniest amount of red because it will overpower that yellow really quickly and mix it in. And then I will paint in my yellow orange section. I'm going to take a little bit more red and mix it into that yellow orange. And then this should be my in-between color. You can add, always add just a little more red. You can't really take it back out. Um, you could add and add yellow, but it it just takes a lot of yellow to overpower what if you, if you made too much red the first time. I will add quite a bit more red. And then I have my red orange. Wash out my paint tray before I do the next section and I'm going to wash out my water cup too. My brush is clean. 
So just like I did before, I'm going to put a few drops of yellow, few scoops of yellow into my container. And then I'll put a few scoops of blue into my container. We'll work a little bit at a time from yellow green to blue green. So I'm gonna take a small amount of blue and mix it into all of my yellow. And blue is the strongest, yellow is the weakest of colors when you're mixing paint. Um, so you wanna make sure you always add the blue to the yellow. And then I will paint in my yellow green section. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to my yellow green. Then I'll paint my green section. And then I will add a quite a bit more blue to my green. And then I will have my blue green section. And I'm going to work from red violet now to blue violet. Um, so I'll need some blue and I will need some red. I will start with my red violet. I'm going to take a little bit of blue and add it to my red. That'll give me my red violet. Then I'll take a little bit more blue and add it to my red violet. And that'll give me my violet. And then I will add a lot more blue to my violet. And then I'll have my blue violet section. Now we'll do the monochromatic section. And this is a male, monochromatic means one color and it's the scale of one hue. Hue is just another name for color. So I will need one color and it doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, I've decided to choose blue. And so that's my pure hue is my blue. So I will go ahead while I have my brush with that on there and paint that in the middle. And then I will get my white and put that in one of the sections. And that can actually go in my white section. And finally my black. So I'm going to do the um, tints side of my scale first. So I will add a tiny bit of the blue to the white. And that'll be my first tint. Then I'll add some more blue to the white. Just take it easy. The white is even weaker than yellow is. So it just gets overpowered quickly. And then I will paint in my next tint. And then I will add even more blue to my white, my tints now. And that'll give me my next value. So now I have three values of my tint, um, four if you count the color white. I'm going to add um, blue to a new section so that I'm sure I don't have any white mixed into my blue. Black is stronger than blue, so I will mix now. Um, I mixed from the white to the blue. I, I will continue from the blue to the black. Uh, and the black, since it overpowers quickly, I'm going to take a little bit and mix it into my color. And that is my first shade. Then I will add a little more black. And that'll be my next shade. And then I will add quite a bit more black. And I'll get my final 
final shade. Not a whole lot of difference between it and the actual black. Nice scale of blue. So this scale has to do with values. So white is the very largest, lightest value and black is the very darkest value. Um, when you go from one complementary color to another co complementary color, you're doing a scale of intensity. So the color is less intense when they're mixed. So you have the most intense out at the outside edges and then you have the intensity here. Your complementary colors are right across from each other on the points of the triangle. So blue's complementary color is orange. Uh, green, red's complementary color is green and yellow's complementary color is violet. So those are your choices. You could do red and green, blue and orange, or you could do yellow and violet. Um, if you don't choose complementary colors, this uh, complementary color scale, of course, won't work. So I have no orange, so that means I'm going to need to mix it. So I'll start with my yellow again. And I will add bread. I will add red a little bit at a time. I'm aiming for that color orange there. And that's pretty good. So, this is my pure orange hue. And this is my pure blue hue. Okay, so if I start here, this is a little bit of blue added to the orange. Now I'll add a little bit of orange to the blue. And then if I, as close as I can to a 50-50, And then this is my 50-50 section. And the, where they cross should be a neutral. In my case, it's a little bit like an army green. I have a little more of a neutral here. And that is your worksheet.